Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, the Bible. May your Holy Spirit lead us, guide us, point us in the direction of truth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Exodus 31, and the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and all manner of workmanship, to devise cunning works, to work in gold and in silver and brass. Jumping to verse 5. And I... Behold, I have given with him Aholiab, the son of Ahasmach, of the tribe of Dan, and in the hearts of all that are wise-hearted I have put wisdom, that they may make all that I have commanded thee. Um, it is interesting, the Lord gave gifts to them, and they were to do work for the tabernacle. Much as the Lord gives gifts uh, to his children today, those who are in Christ, he gives us different uh, gifts, different positions within the church, and we are to use our gifts. And some people's gift may be to uh, come to church, be a member. Uh, they might be witnessing out in the community, and that is fantastic. I think we all should be witnessing. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, 2 Timothy 2.2 2 says, And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Uh, one of the gifts I want to talk about is everyone should evangelize. We might say, well, the Bible speaks of an evangelist, but it, those gifts are all for equipping the uh, saints of God if we talk about spiritual gifts. And one of the spiritual gifts is the gift of an evangelist. There are many evangelists who come out and equip. They talk to people uh, like Mark Cahill. I really like Mark Cahill. He always encourages people uh, to get out and witness. So I would encourage you to get out and witness, find some gospel tracts, uh, hand them out because we all are called to witness. The Bible says the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. We want to pray to the Lord of our, the harvest that he sends forth laborers into the harvest. Uh, it talks in verse 10, the cloths of service, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister into the priest's office. Let's remember the priest's office is about offering sacrifice. But let's continue in verse 13. Speak thou to the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep. So see, this was to the, the children of Israel that they should keep the Sabbath. For it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that you may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. There are those that think the church has replaced Israel. Uh, if you do, uh, first of all, you would then be worshiping on the Sabbath, but you better be keeping the law because uh, the Sabbath is really Saturday, 6.30 Friday night to 6.30 Saturday. Um, but let's continue and look at this. Uh, some groups think you have to keep the Sabbath to be saved. Verse 14 says, Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. Ooh. Whosoever doeth any work therein, that shall, soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath day of rest, holy unto the Lord. Whosoever doeth any work on the Sabbath, he shall surely be put to death. See, we don't need to keep the law to be saved. They didn't need to keep it. They needed to keep the law to be part of the nation of Israel, or they would be cut off. But this one was a very serious one, uh, commandment to them. Uh, people who think you have to keep the law to be saved, it says, for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet a fund of one point, he is guilty of all. Uh, if we tell one lie after we are, we're a believer, if we had to keep the Sabbath, uh, it's the same uh, thing if we broke the law. But I praise the Lord that uh, if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and purify us from all unrighteousness. Uh, verse 17, finishing the, this out, the Sabbath, it is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day, he rested and was refreshed. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony, tables of stone written with the finger of God. See the Sabbath is, uh, the one of the 10 commandments that we don't, uh, have to keep. We don't have to keep things to be saved, but we shouldn't be murdering. We shouldn't be lying. We shouldn't be stealing as Christians. But we don't have to keep the Sabbath because that was given unto the nation of Israel to show that they're a part of the nation of Israel. It is a sign between God and his people, the people he gave the scriptures, the people he gave the Messiah to send to us through them. We'll end there for today.